Hey guys, welcome to Comic Book Friday, where we discuss about comic books and mangas based off of video games. Street Fighter V Season 2 kickstarted this week with Akuma joining the cast of playable characters. Now, what better way is there to celebrate this in my Comic Book Friday segment than to talk about this graphic novel right here, Street Fighter Origins Akuma by Udon Comics. This is one of their hardcover releases with full color, large size, glossy pages. Published in 2013, it focuses on the origin story of Akuma, chronicling his life from his humble beginnings as a farmer child to the kick-ass Mesats fighter of the series that we all know and love. Thankfully, this also takes place before he decided to undergo that weird-ass makeover which makes him look like Simba. The front cover features a sick artwork of Akuma performing a Hadouken, with the main supporting cast orbiting around him in the background. Very nice poster material here, and his big evil grin really steals the show. Meanwhile, the back cover shows his pose right after performing Shungoku Satsu, the technique he eventually uses to seemingly kill off his brother, with the iconic kanji 10 on his back. The first thing that pops up when opening up the book are the big colorful panels filled with detailed artwork. The backgrounds, especially those that show off the rural side of Japan, are like staring at paintings, and they give a strong and moving side of nature. The color schemes change depending on the chapter of Akuma's life. We have the desaturated look of his childhood life in the farm, which gives off a feeling of staring at someone's old fading pictures. Then, his teenage years under Master Gotetsu's training are vibrant and full of green, showing a part of his life where Akuma had limitless potential. Then follows the city life in Tokyo, which is dark and slick a turning point in his life. At the end, we see the colors that we usually associate to Akuma in the games, with ash-like grey mountains and a lack of people, lights or vegetation. The character art itself is also amazing, some of the best from Udon. As usual, they put a lot of details in their coloring, so that it looks as if we're looking at detailed screenshots from an animated movie. Concerning the story, it's actually very fitting with the lore of the games, and it's actually an interesting read from start to finish. The book opens up with Akuma living in a farm, with his older brother Gouken, and both of his parents. Now, I actually personally found it a little weird that his name was Akuma at this point. Akuma means devil. I'll be derailing from topic a little bit here, but I do know for a fact that years ago, when this would have actually taken place, many municipalities in Japan didn't allow parents to give this specific name to their child. I'm not sure about now, but that's how it was back then. I also always assumed that Akuma, despite being his western name, was a self-given nickname after becoming a demonic figure. That said, we do learn later in the comic that both Akuma and Goken have no official records in Japan, and were never officially registered, so I guess it holds up. Also, while his original Japanese name Goki could pass off as meaning other things, and is usually written in katakana, when in kanji, it uses the character Oni, which means devil or ogre. I think that Akuma put that kanji himself when he grew up, but yeah. Anyways, that's just me going off on a tangent. Back on topic, from the beginning, Akuma already has traits of being an evil power-obsessed maniac from childhood, abandoning his dying mother when she was ill, and fighting an Asian black bear with his bare fists in the forest. The comic is actually not just about Akuma, but about his brother Goken as well, who is constantly shown as his complete opposite. Akuma gives in to rage and revenge, never letting go of the past and always striving to be superior, while Goken believes in forgiveness and that strength should always be used to protect. Reading it while knowing the outcome does add hints of sadness to many of the scenes, though it's surprising to see just how little of their lives were actually spent together. The story also features many cameos, including Lin and Retsu from Street Fighter 1. Ryu's origins are also detailed here, which is a nice touch and fits with the theme of revenge and forgiveness that this book focuses on, creating a stronger secret bond between all of these characters. Being that this is a Street Fighter comic, the fighting is an important part. There's actually not too much of it, but some of it is really good. The conclusion between Gouken and Akuma is mainly where most of the effort went, and it really shows, as it's beautiful and dynamic. 
Now, the one thing which I think kind of ruins the art are the visual sound effects. They create way too much contrast and don't really seem to fit with the art or the panels, making them look like afterthoughts. Sometimes, it actually does an insane job at taking away from the intensity of the art. I mean, what, what is this? What, what the hell is Fa? While Udon usually does a great job here, I did notice this being the case in a few of their other comics. Comic book sounds should feel like part of the art, and they should actually add to the intensity of the action. Mangas usually do a great job with this, with a lot of it actually being drawn into the panels manually, but even when it uses preset fonts or when translated to English, they usually do a great job at dynamically placing them within or between panels. Color comics also usually work with colors so that they feel like part of the artwork. The end of the book also contains concept art and rough layout artworks. There is even a section dedicated to the official art of Akuma throughout the series by famous Capcom artists Bengus, Edayan and Ikeno. Small complaints aside, if you're a fan of the world and lore of Street Fighter, then I can easily recommend this. If you're a fan of Akuma, then this is almost required and is an eye-catching addition to anyone's graphic novel collection. Well, that's it for this week's Comic Book Friday. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. If you like this video, then there really is no harm in checking out the other videos in my channel, where I'd look at other comics, movies and games. Liking this video and subscribing to my channel would be pretty awesome, so if you do, thank you. Well, until next time.